Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. Look at that crappie, man. That's a nice crappie. <laughs> nice largemouth. Very nice largemouth. Nice largemouth bass. Nice largemouth bass. All right, good deal. All right, I'm gonna reach this beautiful muskie. 35 inch muskie. Catch and release. Seventeen squads out there. All right, hey, welcome to another edition of Arc Fishing. I'm your host, John Leach. Why am I showing this video here now inside my place? Because when I was a child, every time when I wanted something, especially when it was real expensive or you know bigger item, my parents used to always say, "Well, save." My parents used to always say, "Save your pennies." Well. I took that literally sometimes. So this is full of coins. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. That's heavy. I probably weighed a good 20, 25 pounds. What this was, I converted, you can see the lid here. I turned it into my own homemade piggy bank. This used to be a protein container. I'm not sponsored by these people, but this is just this is a different form of that. Actually, this was a different brand. But let me turn this around. So I took this. When I was done using the protein powder for when I go to the gym and work out, took that off. Here, let me give you an inside look. Almost full. And again, here's the lid with the, um, I cut that in there to make this. So anyways, I'm going to dump this out and sort it. I also collect coins, so I want to sort through every coin and make sure I'm not getting rid of a coin that might have some value to it. might be really old, might be special. So... I'm gonna do that, and then I found this really cool coin sorting machine out in the garage. So I'm gonna try and use this, make things a whole lot faster. And it's this button here, check this out. It's pretty cool, actually. And then it falls down in here, it actually sorts the coins for you. It's pretty cool. So we'll try that. If not, then I'll just do it by hand. These are the old fashioned style of the uh, coin sleeves but for that machine it takes these special ones that are designed just for it it's pretty cool you can see one end's already folded that other end when it fills up you just fold it over my only concern is i don't know how i can tell when it has the right amount i don't know if there's like a sensor in there or what but how do i know it's really the right amount of coins in there i don't know we'll see but so we're gonna dump some coins out To sort through these I'm gonna take these put them in here and I have a quarter yep all the way over there I don't know if you can see this but uh, don't seem to be working too well with this to be honest with you it's working but not like it should be I'm not impressed with this with this at all this is not working like it's supposed to it's a little disappointing yowzers see that one went in the wrong slot it shouldn't have done that all right i am not impressed with this at all it should not be going in the wrong slot like that 
I'm not impressed. Something's not right. This is probably one of those cheap. I found this in the garage when I was cleaning it. Probably one of those cheap TV advertisements, pieces of junk. Because I am not impressed with this at all. Yeah, I'm not impressed with this at all. I don't think this is going to work like I was hoping it would. Yeah, I'm not impressed. Hoping that would work. Be a lot faster, more efficient. <laughs> Plus, I'm trying to go into the nickel slot. Alright, so I guess you take this out like this. Let's see, how does it. Here's my question. Unless you pre count it, how do you know? How's machine to knows to stop at ten dollars worth? That's my question. I'm not impressed with this. I think I could probably do it faster and more effectively by hand like this. And I'll know it's accurate. And why see why are some of these trying to go in a nickel slot? There's ten dollars, but my question is, how does the machine? How's the machine gonna know it's at ten dollars? I don't know. I'm not too impressed with that. I think I'm gonna do it by hand. I was hoping there'd be a lot. I was hoping that like make things super efficient, but all right. So there's ten dollars so far. Alright, so ten dollars came out of this so far, so we'll see. I think we're just gonna do it by hand. It's I, I'm not impressed with that machine at all. Put that there. Alright. Alright, so if you get twenty dollars. I still got a lot of coins to go through, man. I don't know, I might be up pretty late tonight. I have a funny feeling I'm gonna be out this for several hours the way this is looking. But I'm beginning to think I might have a hundred dollars in there. We'll see. It's going to be close. Okay, there we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. Check this out. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. I still got all those coins to go through. I have a funny feeling. There's over a hundred dollars in there. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. $54. Alright, so check this out. $54 there wrapped up in those sleeves. I still have all those coins to go through. I think we're definitely going to get over $100 worth of coins. Let's see if I even get this all done tonight. It's taking longer than I thought it was going to. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four. So I'm at sixty-four hours wrapped up and ready to go to the bank. And I have at least a half container in here plus these coins. I'm gonna take a food break. Number one, I'm hungry. Number two, I'm thirsty. Number three, my eyes are going buggy. So taking a break, turn the camera off. Stay tuned for more. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Ate two slices of pizza. Drank some water. Feel much better. It's actually after midnight already. It's tw it was 12:03 a.m. Can't believe it's that late. I think I started this project around 9:9:30. It's hard to believe I've been at this that long. I don't think I don't know. Maybe it was 10 o'clock. Surprised it's that late. But at least when I reach 100 dollars, which meant I'm what 64. I think I was at. I'm gonna try to get to hundred dollars, and I might stop there and call a night and hit the sack because I'm gonna get this all done in one night. And I want to go to the bank tomorrow morning. Then I'm gonna go to Cabela's and go look at fish finders and hopefully pick one up. Alright, see where we're at now. 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 92, 93, 94. I'm at 94 dollars. Six more dollars. I'm at 100. I'm done. I hit the sack. My back is killing me. I'm tired. My eyes are going buggy. But I want to get to 100 dollars. I'm hitting the sack. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna guess there's probably. I think there's actually 200 dollars worth of coins total. Like when it's all said and done. I thought there was hundred dollars, and I'm thinking there's two dollars worth of coins in there, which is fantastic. All right, let's do the nickels next. All right, so just to order, I'll sort out of here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, two, four, five, six, seven, 107. So let me show you what I have, what's going on here. I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'm hitting a sack. I'll continue this tomorrow morning, and maybe later tomorrow on the day. Well, at least I have $107 I can take to the bank tomorrow morning, plus the $100 gift card I have that I got back in Christmas. So that gives me $207 I can put towards a fish finder. So let me show you what I have. So I'm down to between a quarter and a half of the coins in the barrel, so in that, uh, I don't know you call it, barrel bucket, the old um, protein shake container. So here's the $107 that's wrapped up. I got to go. So those quarters yet, those dimes, those nickels, and pennies. Well, I went through them, I'm just going to wrap them. So here's the uh, coins that I'm going to be adding to my coin collection. I'm going to keep those. And then those are coins I found out in the garage. I found a bunch of coins out there and I was cleaning the garage, and those are some old ones. Those are So that pile and this pile are going to go in my coin collection. I'll have to sort through this one. I have a bunch of duplicates in there, like a whole bunch of 1965, 1966, and 1967 quarters in there. So I'll pick out the best ones and then, get, and then the other ones I'll probably hand them in the bank in exchange for dollar bills. But, so anyway, you know, let's make sure it's still running. So at any rate, I got $107 here wrapped up ready to go to the bank. I'll trade that in for dollar bills. Take the credit card, or not, I mean gift card. Let me phrase that. Take the $100 gift card with me. That'll give me $207 that I can use towards... A decent fish fund. Now, hopefully, maybe tomorrow morning I'll go through some of these coins. Maybe I get up to about 225, 230. There's a whole bunch of coins in there yet, but we'll see. The bank's only open from 9A to 12P tomorrow, so I want to get to Cabela's before 12 noon because after 12 noon, that place is going to be packed in the manhouse, especially since they're calling for a lot of rain. A lot of people are bringing them on to out shopping in Cabela's because there ain't nothing to do outside. They're calling for flood watch and heavy rain tomorrow. So I want to get to Cabela's early in the morning. All right, so stay tuned for more. See you tomorrow morning. Well, good morning. It's the next morning. I went to bed at 1 a.m. Now 8 a.m. So I only slept for about six or seven hours. I woke up, I think, at least once or twice for a little bit and hopefully I could sleep. But it's Saturday. What is today? Saturday, May 19th, 2018. I literally just woke up like five, ten minutes ago. Water getting ready to boil on the stove, make some hot tea. I'm gonna do a few more coins this morning. I'm gonna head out of here around 9 9 30 and go to the bank and then go to Cabela's. And hopefully get a fish pond here. So let me do a few more coins. See if I can get up to Let's see what I was up to. 10, 20, 30. That's what I was up to 107. I have a quarter of a container left, so let me grab this camera and show you what's going on here. Okay, so hundred dollars in quarters, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-five in nickels, two, four, six. I'm sorry, let me phrase that. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-five in dimes, two, four, six in quarters, and then one, two, three, four dollars in pennies. Okay, I still have a quarter of a container left of coins. I'm gonna go through these quarters. Well, these quarters already be wrapped with dimes, nickels, and and pennies. Those will go in the next se segment of wrapping. Those are the ones I put aside over here. All these coins right here I'm pointing at. I'm probably gonna go in my coin collection. I have to sort through them, but those are old coins or ones that are I may, may have unusual marks on them or something. But I'm gonna sort through those, save all the good ones, the ones I feel like worth keeping on. I'll put back into the bin. Those are from those are old coins from I found in the garage, and these are state quarters. I think I'm not sure if I have or not. I think I do, but in this case, I don't put those aside. And then here's all the sleeves I have left yet. So I have plenty of sleeves yet. 
All right, you turn this camera around. Let me see what time it is. I think. Hold on a second. All right, let me see what time it is. Oh, it's not 8.58. All right, I'm done. I'm going to download these two uh, memory cards. The first one has three hours worth. It's probably about 15 minutes to half an hour on this card. So I'm going to download those real quick. Take a shower, change, go to the bank, and go to Cabela's, which is a half hour drive. And hope we get a fish finder. All right, so stay tuned for more. I'll be back on the camera in a little while, and we'll head out and go to the bank of Cabela's. See you in a little, see you in a little while. Bam! Ooh, that rain's really coming down. I want to get to Cabela's early and hope we beat the crowds, but I have a funny feeling that place is getting busy real fast. They ain't really know what else to do with all the rain we had. It's rained all week, now it's raining pretty good now, and it's supposed to rain all day today. I'm calling for a flood watch. What else is there to do on a Saturday? Like I said fishing is probably completely out of the question today. I mean, I don't mind fishing in the rain, it wouldn't bother me, all the lightning, but the water's gonna be so high, so muddy, probably wasting your time. So at any rate, welcome to another edition of Arc Fishing. I'm your host, John Leach. As I was stating earlier, I'm on the way to the bank this Saturday morning. I'm gonna cap out $140 in change in here that I put in the, I don't know what you call them, sleeves or whatever. Bank rolls, coin rolls. I'm gonna change those for dollar bills, and then I'm gonna hit the Cabela's and look at fish finders. I'm hoping to get one that has, I don't need anything big, fancy, or special. What I want is certain features though. I hope I can find it within my price range. I want to get one that has GPS and also down scan, down imaging feature. So we'll see. I don't want to spend more than $200 on a fish finder. I got two really good ones in my bass boat. I don't need a real high end one on my uh, canoe. I just need something that's functional, usable, and works, and it's reliable. But I want something happy, so I just want the cheapest one there. I don't want the most expensive one there. Scoot the river is going to flow over Florida. I wonder if I can, maybe on the way home I'll go buy it, make a quick video of it, see if it's overflowing yet. It's got to be close to overflowing, if not already overflowing. Alright, I'm at the back. I'm going to turn this camera off. I don't think I'm allowed to take it in there. I don't want to anyway, so I'll be back. Stay tuned. It is pouring. Alright, I got in there real quick. I'm surprised. There's nobody in there. I was the only person in there. So the teller took me right away. And of course, I go to come back outside and it's literally downpour, man, like real heavy. It's soaked already. That rain's really coming down now. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, so, exchanging all my coins for um, cash, I got $140 in coins, and I have a $100 gift card on me, so that's $240. I can put towards the fish farm. I don't want to spend more than that. Be back out of here and we'll be on our way to Cabela's. And just pouring down rain. It is pouring. Holy moly. Alright. I am at Cabela's. I'm going to switch over to the ch chest cam. So I'm going to take the camera with me and show you footage of inside the store and uh, looking at fish farm. Switching over to the other camera. See you in a little bit. Boom! That's a nice rod and reel combo. Alright, let's go look at fish finders. Wow. 
spot where it's good fishing, you want to put a mark there, you can put that there and it'll stay there. Or you can mark a trail, <coughs> which <laughs> Yeah. I had it on the front. Yeah, I had it on the front. So this has GPS and down imaging? Down imaging feature again. Where was that? Let me see this. What I'm liking that. It's not a bad price. Do you have any using stock? I think I'm going to take that one. That has two features I want. Just like setting up for doing more work or fishing as far as. This little rants right here. Yeah, yeah. How are you? Uh, yeah, it's got the GPS and the down image, which is exactly what I want. That's a good price tag. Yeah. Put that on my canoe. Oh, I walk right past it. No. Let me guess you're out of it. I hope not. It's got good features, a good price tag. Yeah, if I'm really gonna Actually, last night I was sitting roots on a way. Excuse me, I was sitting roots to make a waypoint to reach and stuff like the fish room. So, yes, thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I mainly want the down image and the GPS feature. That's what I'm liking about it. And it has, that's actually just plotter, so you're going to be moving on the lake. Right. And then all you're going to have to do is arrow over to at the waypoint. Yeah, and then you can change it to whatever color you want. Nice. So if you want to put fish. And you just say, put it as a fish here. No, that's pretty cool. All right. Thank you. Put a dot there, and then it'll mark your trail and come yeah. back to it. You know, my hummingbird don't have that. That's interesting. Yep. That's pretty cool. Does that one take a micro SD card by any chance no. or not? No, it don't. It, it, uh, Internal no, memory? It doesn't, no. It's not a big deal, I was just curious. No, no okay. whatever is on there is on. All right. That's your waypoint. And then there's your trails. Oh, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good, I want to do two separate purchases, okay? I want to do just this one first. That's not a big deal. Did you want a bag for that? Yes, please. It's pouring out there. At least it was when I came in. <laughs> Uh, it's unlisted. Alright, so it's going to ask you on the screen here if you'd like to round up your change for conservation. Alright, so it's going to be 
Okay, on this one, there should be a hundred dollars on this gift card. Um, okay, so what I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you slide that. Through okay. Here. Let me activate the pin pad for you. All right, you can go ahead and slide it. I believe so. Should be. It was a Christmas gift. Alright, just your signature. Maybe hang on to it. I won't get rid of it then, just in case you want to check it. Yeah. Make sure the balance is on. Alright, so it's going to be $142.74. Okay, let me put this back in here. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, hundred, twenty, forty. All right, should be one fifty there. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, yay. Still pouring out. It's still pouring out. I, got, I forgot where I parked. And I got soaked. I thought I was parked way over there. Not to realize I was actually this close to the door. So I won't go there for nothing. I'm so because it's pouring out. But I did manage to find a nice fish finder. I paid more than I wanted to. I was looking to only spend between 100 and 150. I really just wanted to get just a regular basic fish finder. But then the more I thought about it, I really want I love that down structure scan. And I love the GPS feature where you can mark your waypoints, mark where you catch fish and where you locate them. So I got this real nice Lorance. And it's a uh, five inch screen too, which is fantastic. And it's got GPS waypoints and down scan imaging along with traditional sonar. It's got a G GPS plotter, broadband sounder, down scan imaging. Um, it's got some really cool features to it. I figured it this way. I'm gonna mount it on my canoe, but I could also use it on anything. I, it's, I can put it on my boat, I can put it on a kayak, whatever. It, it's got really cool features. So, I did use a $100 gift card that I got for Christmas, and then uh, that change I had was $140, so went slightly over budget, but you know what? It's worth it. I may or may not do an unboxing when I get home. I, I watch these videos on YouTube. I don't watch them. I hate the, I hate the ones that have unboxing because to me they're boring, but I may do it because maybe you'll enjoy it. I will definitely do a video of me installing this because it's, I like making videos that are helpful for other people. So when I install this on a canoe, I'll, I'll definitely videotape that of uh, me installing this. I'm almost contemplating. I hate to spend that kind of money, but I almost want to put this on my boat and get another one for the canoe. Because <laughs> this would be real good inside of my Hummingbird. This is Lawrence. I have a Hummingbird on my dash that has just a GPS but doesn't have a down imaging. And then up front with my trolling motors, I have one that has down imaging but doesn't have a GPS feature. So I could have two of them side by side at my dashboard. One with GPS, one with down imaging. But I don't know. This this hobby starts to get way too expensive real fast. So on my way back home, I'm hoping to have a bunch of packages when I get home. I ordered a whole bunch of stuff at Amazon.com for the canoe. I'm still waiting for those parts to come in. They're supposed to come in between May 17th and May 22nd. Today is the 19th. So I'm hoping to have some packages at my door when I get home. If not, it is what it is. But all right, we're out of here. I did buy a bunch of super flukes because I'm having so much success on that lure. So I bought a couple packages of those too. But I'm gonna go home, make lunch, eat something. Oh, it's gonna be a fun road trip home, let me tell you. Check that out, brand new Lowrance. It's called a Hook 25X. Has GPS split shot HDI. It has GPS and it has down scan imaging, down structure scan, so. I have yet to open this. I just bought this last week at Cabela's. So, let's 
do what it looks like. So far I'm liking what I see. Ooh, that's nice and new. Check that out. Brand new Lorance. Backside. Alright, let's put this down here. Gotta figure out where and how I'm gonna install this. There should be a transducer down in here somewhere. Lots of hardware. There's the mount for the transducer. That's for that mount for the. No, that's right. That might. That's the mount for the GPS unit. I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. That's the mount for the head unit. So we'll have to figure out. I'm thinking about mounting it right here. That's what I'm thinking, but we'll see. There's the transducer. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice transducer too. Nice and long. All right, let's see what's all in here. There you go. I'll save you a lot of energy. <laughs> we should have left a little sooner. That rain's coming down. Wait, don't lean over that too far towards Josh. I saw something on the middle that popped up. I don't know if it was a turtle. Could have been. But it was pretty. Looked pretty long. This one's pretty good. Yeah, it does. I'm on my if I'm on here by myself, it does five miles per hour. And that's all electric, no no outboard. Right now we're doing three point two miles per hour. <laughs> 